What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Dave B. You're watching Dave B on TV, but we're going to be on the everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. And, um, you know, it's been a minute since I hopped on some astrology shit, so I wanted to quick and just make a, um, you know, a quick, I guess, an energetic breakdown. Excuse my hair, bro, because I just woke up and shit, and, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be looking, I'll be like, damn, I got to, like, get it right and lopsided. But, like, I'm going to just try to focus and shit like that. But, um, basically... I ain't gonna fix it though. Hold on. Shit, I can't. I can't. I can't. I should've. Ah! <laughs> should've wore a hoodie and some shit. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I, I had to get this video out though. Because, um, you know, right now, like, you know, I had a, a, a feeling today or an epiphany or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And you already know, like, when it's a uh, sad season. It's um epiphany season, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, certain enlightenment, certain information, wisdom, and knowledge is, is, is basically like very potent right now. Just with the energy, you know, the energy of Sagittarius is the enlightened energy, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, anytime signs or, I mean, planets are in um, fire signs and things of that nature, it's enlightenment, you know, things being brought to the surface, being, being things being brought to your attention, you know what I'm saying? But um, right now, you know, on, on one spectrum, I feel like this. I'm going to go with the with the vibration that I'm just feeling right now, picking up with all the energies. It's like, don't let them stop you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them stop you. Because, you know, we, like, I mean, if you look at, like, the planets right now, I got them pulled up. You know what I'm saying? Everything is, we finally moving out of that heavy ass Scorpio energy. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we got, um. Venus is the last one. It's 27 degrees in Scorpio right now. So it's making its way over to where where the party at, you know what I'm saying, the Sagittarius. So, you know, we're going to see that change kind of take place in uh, not too long, you know what I'm saying? But you know, lately, you know, uh, you know, Mercury has been in Sagittarius and stuff like that. So I feel like Mercury being in Sagittarius definitely lightened the mood up a little bit. It kind of took some of the pressure. Or, well, I ain't even going to say it took the pressure off because the pressure is really coming from that Saturn and uh, Jupiter conjunction with Pluto right behind them. You know what I'm saying? Like that creeping on them and shit like that. So, you know, with that energy in and of itself, I feel like, you know, we really are, this is the precipice. You know what I'm saying? This is that point. This is that we've done so much to get to this point. You know what I'm saying? And like, I, I know in my own life, looking around at other individuals and shit like that, and just my own work, like, I'm so incredibly proud of the people I'm around. I feel like I'm around the right people. When, you know, flashback to around March, the beginning of this year and shit like that, it's like the people I was around just wasn't quite getting it. You know what I'm saying? They weren't quite understanding where my path was. And it was so many experiences from March to now that kind of pushed you in a situation where you had to kind of muster up the strength to do what you was going to do alone. You know what I'm saying? And like, I think that um, this year in the total, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to really see the strong and the weak, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, if you take offense to that, then you probably on the weak spectrum, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like at least the people I've been around and myself, we all started to find our strength, our bag, you know what I'm saying? And hop in that motherfucker to where now it's like, okay, cool. Like, not only do I, like, it's almost like, the shit that you doing now is shit that you always been dreaming about doing, but now you doing it all, but like, you know what I'm saying? We have to take that leap of faith. Like, especially when I feel like, especially as the, um, like when the, when the sun was going through Scorpio and like coming out and peeking into, um, Sagittarius, I feel like we all had a situation where we had to just take a leap of faith. And like right now it's like, you know, the, the beauty of this transit and everything is just, you know, we already know what, what people are reacting and responding to on the news and shit like that. Like, unfortunately, being wrapped up in that isn't going to help you. It's only going to put you in a fear state and stagnate you. It's the people who decided to say, you know what? Fuck what everyone else is talking. I'm going to jump and do what, if, what I want to do. And if it works out, it works out. Cool. If it doesn't, I'm, I'm confident and I'm strong enough to know that I can be resilient and whatever L I got to take, I'm going to take that L and turn it into a W. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. And so, like, you know, so let's let's get into the astrology and shit like that. So right now, you know what I'm saying? We got the new moon and Sagittarius. So this is going to be 
a new, fresh way to see th see things in a mutable way. You know what I'm saying? So a broad, philosophical way of seeing the world, um, spirituality and God, things of that nature. And it's joining the sun and Mercury right now. So like right now, finally, our, how we seeing things and how we feel about things is on that same page. You know what I'm saying? And you know when a new moon period hits, this becomes the time to start planting your seeds and stuff like that. So, like, right now is such a potent time to really just be in that vibration of doing what it is that you know you're destined to do. You know what I'm saying? But now all this energy is on the, the global south node, right? So the south node in all of our charts is where we, it's like our, you know, our north node is those uncomfortable moments. It's not really us. I like to think of the north node as a point of reference and a direction for how where the energy you're supposed to be approaching you know what i'm saying and so you know when you create your you know i always talk about um creating your end goal you know what i'm saying the, aka your four your four points to create that diamond in the sky or like basically you know that's like you creating that north star within yourself so that no matter what you do it's that compass it'll it'll always lead north AKA towards your spiritual path, you know what I'm saying? And that spiritual path could be anything that you've decided to take on as your purpose, you know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that it's something that is beyond this physical realm and actually something that you can, um, you know, use as a, uh, as a, as a portal almost to get the fuck out of here, you know what I'm saying? Because this planet is dead, this, this place is dead. After this, you don't want to come back, like, I, I'm, I, at least I don't. I don't know about you. You might want to come back. You might like this shit. I hate this shit. I do not fuck with this shit. I don't like what they got going on here, and I'm ready to get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? But but that's that's besides the point. But you know what I'm saying? Creating that four point in the, star, in the sky, you know what I'm saying? Having that linked up with your north node in some way, you know, because the north node is always, it's not you. So it's always going to bring you very uncomfortable situations and circumstances. And our purpose, or not our purpose, but we're supposed to use our south node which is our comfortability a lot like you know it's almost like our second moon it's like it's like our moon's mother you know it's like our grandmother almost like you know what i'm saying that kind of energy where it's like it's like a lot of times we be more resonant with that energy and you know that can kind of throw us off because everyone looks for their sun moon ascendant you know what i'm saying sun moon ascendant and they you know mercury through pluto but you know, we might forget where the node is and our south node, this is where we're coming from essentially. So this is energy that we've mastered. And so, you know, right now, like this new moon is mastery. Subconsciously, I feel like we 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 might be in a space where we actually know that we are the masters of whatever we involved in at the moment. You know, if you've been planting the right seeds, it's like right now it's a beautiful opportunity to be to be like, oh shit, like I, I've been I've been this. I've been. I've been doing what it is that I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like going. It's like you might even think back to. Um. You know, I seen somebody was talking about how they were um re, uh rereading an old notebook that they had. You know what I'm saying? Or 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 drawing again. About, like you know, going back to their old drawings and things of that nature. And it's like, yeah, like I feel like whatever we involved in right now, you know, it's a good chance that it resonates on something that you've always been doing. And that's kind of how the spiritual shit works. A lot of the things that we naturally, you know, even the things we take on as gifts and talents and things of that nature, this be shit that we've been doing for long beyond our lifetime here. And so, you know, right now it's like a, this new moon is like it, it, can, it has the ability, I feel like, to remind us of what we've mastered already being in the South Node. You know what I'm saying? So it's that new, it's that newness that, you know, that new moon energy, but we have like right now it's like new moon in the in the space of the global south node so we're we might be coming becoming enlightened about shit that we've already been mastering and it's like damn like all this time i've been working to get to this point like that's literally how i feel right now it's like man my whole life when i start to look back in all the pieces and i start to link things together it's like damn i've been on this journey for so long i've waited so long to get here but the thing is, we didn't wait. We actually put in the work. And so it's not a situation where I look back and I'm like, damn, I waited so long. It's like, no, no, no. Not only did I prepare for this, but now I've mastered this. And it's time to take that mastery and prepare. I feel like right now, like it's all preparation. Because with this conjunction with uh, Jupiter and Saturn, you know what I'm saying? Get, 
it's the it's the last stages before it heads into Aquarius, and we already know we talk about the most anticipated alignment, and uh, everyone's talking about you know what I'm saying we all talking about Saturn going into Aquarius. We all talking about Jupiter joining Saturn in Aquarius, right? Now this is going to be great for Jupiter because Jupiter gets to you know get it gets to wake back up, but it's still not going to be at full capacity. You know what I'm saying? It's just one sign. Uh, after the sign that it falls in, because Jupiter falls in, in Capricorn. So Jupiter is, you know, still going to be waking up. It's still going to be groggy, right? So Jupiter is not going to be our best friend. Our, our experiences are still going to be challenging. But, and then it's going to be squaring Uranus. And you already know this, Uranus transit has been doing a number on us too. But Uranus, I feel like, was heavy early on now i mean it's heavy but we so used to it it's kind of like whatever now you know what i'm saying because the changes the changes that have been going on the rapid changes and things of that nature that shit already been taking place and right now you already should be changing you know what i'm saying i feel like right now you know a lot of people talking about how it's uh it's a portal i feel like that's kind of like you have the opportunity right now to really tap into that timeline that you've always wanted to tap into. You know what I'm saying? It's like you have that opportunity to 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 be that that thing that you know you are. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, it's so potent. And and like the beauty of it is since you know the world is kind of like in a state of chaos and shit like that, like this is the perfect time to fulfill or I would say create a space and fulfill it yourself. Like I feel like when and this is kind of like a branch off to like what I'll be talking about in um my, my um esoteric hustler academy and shit like that it's like basically you know especially with with uranus and taurus right now we have a um the opportunity to create what we want like there are no examples like at this point you got to be a pure individual when it comes to how you gain structure and stability in your life right now we've already been experiencing pressure to be that individual self that we are you know what i'm saying i feel like even 2020 being the four once we hit the fourth fifth and sixth dimensions and shit like that it it, it comes down to being an individual you can't be a oversoul unless you are an individual and have an individual thought you can't be um, you know what I'm saying? You can't be in that five space if you have, don't have your own individual feeling. So you can't be a star. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone, we all stars. You know what I'm saying? But you can't be in that sixth place, in that sixth position, unless you got an individual thought and feeling that you blended together to create your own star power in that sense. You know what I'm saying? So right now, it's like 2020 been preparing us and putting us in situations where we had to be an individual. And like, you know what I'm saying? But what's going to be interesting is like, like what, what's really supposed to be happening is we're supposed to be tapping into our individual self, right? It's like the whole 2020 was coming and developing that individuality. But also now that we are such a strong individual, as we go into the five, right? With, with 2021 and shit like that, as we move forward into that next year, it's going to be, and then when, when Jupiter and Saturn get into Aquarius, it's going to be about being an individual, but also linking up with your team and your soul group and stuff like that. And so that's why it's been so important because, see, you can only find your soul group if you really being yourself or if you're in a space where you, you actually want to be yourself and shit like that. You might, you know what I'm saying? Like when I first, before I met like the soul group for real, it was like I was in a space where it was like, damn, like I'm sick and tired of everything around me. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. I, I just want to, I'm just, I, I don't know. And, and at the time I didn't know better. Like I, I was like, but I knew I, I was, I knew I wasn't what my surroundings were. So it was like, I made that decision to just be like, you know what, bro? I got to start doing me. I got to start being myself. I, can, I, I don't fuck with this shit. I don't know why, but I got to search for what my truth is. And I got to find my power individually. And so once I did that path, it was like I started finding certain, you know, messages and certain things to remind me, oh, this is this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And this is what I'm what I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? That was like back in 2013, 2014, when I graduated high school and shit like that. And it was like, oh, I was in college trying to figure out life and shit like that. Y'all know. Y'all know. And if you don't know, you finna learn. You know what I'm saying? And if you if you watching this shit now, it's great because you you early. You know what I'm saying? You early, but you here, you present. You know what I'm saying? But like real shit. 
as you start walking along this path, you know what I'm saying? It's all about individuality. That's what spirituality is and finding that power within yourself and taking that shit back and starting to kind of actually monitor your state of being, understand how you interact and relate to others, how others interact and relate to you and things of that nature where we expand and we grow, you know what I'm saying? And we learn new shit. Um, but not to get too off track, you know what I'm saying? As everything moves into this Aquarius space, Aquarius is the, it's all about being an individual, but contributing to the organization or the group, you know, or the community. It's more like community and shit like that. And so like, you know, I, I don't like to predict what I think. Like, I don't like to predict shit. I, I mean, I have certain hunches about what could be coming, but I don't like to predict, you know, and, and the way I see the future is I always create a few, like, I look at the future like no matter what, I'm going to be straight. My team going to be straight. My people going to be straight. We're going to figure this shit out, you know, but I definitely feel like, you know, I mean, we've been saying this. The power is in the people, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's like we got to, there's going to be a lot of emphasis on organizations. And on a smaller level, it's going to be kind of like everyone's going to kind of start to branch off into their own factions, I feel like, based upon their individual feeling and who they are, who they develop as themselves in this individual time. You know, the government right now, they're doing a lot of division tactics. You know what I'm saying? They've been doing this for years. This has been a part of their plan and shit like that. But Everything in the world, you know, because besides this year, everything in the world was put here to kind of separate by them, you know, their world that they made. This ain't the world. You know what I'm saying? This is a world within the world. The world really don't work like this. It's just they took what we all had access to and they created, uh, they, they, it's almost like they sculpted a little, um, a trail for us to kind of be led to slaughter in a sense, you know what I'm saying? But this ain't the world. This is just the box that they put us in, you know what I'm saying? And, and they, 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 they. They, 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 they've been doing this shit for so long and they, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so efficient that almost everything you do contributes to building a world, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful, but at the same time, like, you know, they not, they not omni, they not omnipotent, they not omnipresent, they not all powerful, they not all possibilities, they not God. And they just convinced a, a lot of y'all that they God and they not God, you know what I'm saying? And you might think that, well, no, God is God. I, I pray in the church and shit like that. It's like, nah, but like, you chances are, if you just into your religion, you haven't read the fine print. You just went along with what made you feel the most comfortable, and you know what I'm saying? You you, you made it you made it make sense for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and ain't nothing, I, like, I can't say there's nothing wrong with that, because there ain't no right or wrong in this world, but I will say, you know, you might want to start re you you might want to start redefining your your spiritual um system because you know just ask yourself if, if it's really working for you you know what i'm saying like i i can't i can't speak on something that ain't that ain't that that's working for you if it's working for you then cool you know what i'm saying like that you know to each his own and that's that's you that's your shit you know what i'm saying but um you know really right now like i said i feel like a lot of us Going into this next year, we're going to have to make, if you haven't already, I feel like we already making that decision to separate from those things that just wasn't contributing to the to the process, to the growth, to the progress. You know what I'm saying? It was like being surrounded about a bunch, you know what I'm saying? Like as we've seen things unfold from March to now, it's like we got to see who people really was and who really believed in God and who really just believed in the government. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. And like, you know, how I'm talking, you might not be familiar with it, but like, you know, it's just some real shit for your sovereignty, your power, your soul. It's like everyone's soul is put in a situation where it's like you either you gonna trust your spirit or you not, you're gonna fall with Jupiter and be stuck in the reality and think that reality is, is crashing down on you. You know, the world already ended. You know what I'm saying? We in the aftermath, we in the we in the when the when the when the, when the fire is settling, like we I mean like we we haven't even you know what I'm saying? But, like, let's let's continue on. You know what I'm saying? Because I can talk like this for hours and shit like that. But, okay, so we got a lot of energy. And so th this is interesting, too. You know, we got Mercury creeping up on the sun. So when the Mercury is starting to creep up with the sun and past the sun, I call this even, this is even more access, I feel like, to enlightenment because it's the Mercury is how we think. But it's also our link to Jupiter. It's our link to understand higher concepts and things of that nature. You know, Hermes you know, Thoth, all that shit, that, he's like the messenger, you know what I'm saying, it's the messenger, so messages, 
even though it's like that third house space, so it's like we communicate and here, there, and everywhere, it's also our link to understand messages that, that are beyond our physical world and things of that nature. You know, it's our mentality. Our mental space is one of the most important things here as well. You know what I'm saying? It's very important here too. You know, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe slightly, like, I don't even want to say less or more important because all this shit is our tools and it's what we have. It's not a system we need to make favoritism over certain things. But, you know, I, I like to think of one of the key things, especially in your early development of spirituality, is the first thing, your state of being, how you feeling, reacting and responding to everything, your your emotional state. And then, you know, we start talking about uh, your mentality. You know what I'm saying? You see your sun, moon, and ascendant, that's like making up you, you know, your sun, your actions, your moon, your reactions, and what you feel comfortable with. And then, um, you know, the sun is how you see things as well. And then your rise and your personality through it all. But then... When we start talking about your your Mercury through Pluto, Mercury right there, you know, how you think, your mentality, the world is mental. You have to create that shit. Your, your thoughts and feelings is the key players. This is your sons and your daughters, your Adam and Eve and shit like that. And without a proper system like that, you can't have a sufficient Garden of Eden. Your Garden of Eden is going to have all kinds of snakes in that shit if you don't have the right mentalities and the right feelings and emotions about certain things that's coming up as mentalities. But the moon always manifesting and bringing things here first, you know what I'm saying? So the state of being is slightly more potent, you know what I'm saying? But then your mentality comes in and, and that's a tool, you know what I'm saying? So the moon is you, but your mentality is something that you develop, you know what I'm saying? You develop and use for your benefit or your detriment, depending on who you are and what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But our mentality is catching up with the sun. So our, the way we think is catching up with how we seeing things. So it's going to be faster processing. We're going to be able to process more shit like, oh, okay. You know, we already been feeling certain enlightenment, but it's really going to, I feel like, clarify itself as the as Mercury starts to pass the sun. It's like, okay, cool. Now we all moving into Capricorn. So like I said, with this new moon, Excuse me. With this new moon, it's like we developing or we're it's like self mastery almost. You know what I'm saying? With that just ever all this energy on our south node. It's like a lot of us might be having dreams right now, remind or just seeing certain things. You know, it's like pay attention. Keep your eyes open. You know, Sagittarius, you should always keep your eyes open and, and see Sagittarius is opposite to Gemini. So it's like right now ain't not even a time for heavy thinking. Like, honestly, it's really more about experiencing. So if you're thinking too hard about something, no. New moon in Sagittarius, go ahead and go for it if you haven't yet. You know, when Mercury got into um, Sagittarius with the sun and shit like that, we should have already been learning by experience. You know what I'm saying? You should be going out and trying to figure things out. You know, not too reckless. You don't want to get washed in the wave and be too spont uh, spont uh, spontaneous. You don't want to be too adventurous to where... You just trying to do new shit to get out of your old situation because you think it's chasing you or locking you in a cage. You got to make sure that you, you the spirit, deciding what you want to experience. You the spirit saying, no, I want to experience this because I want to experience it. I'm not running for something. And that's something with Sagittarius. Is, it's like Sagittarius got to get to a space where y'all not acting off a of reaction. You're not just making a brash movement or spontaneous, spontaneous movement. Because you're trying to run from something, you got to make that deliberate. You know what I'm saying? That's learning how to make that shit deliberate and being like, no, I want to experience this, so I'm going to go through it. I'm not running from nothing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times Sagittarius could be running from shit. You know what I'm saying? And with all this energy here, we could be running from some shit. We could be running from shit we very well know we're supposed to be doing. But maybe, you know, with Mercury here, we might feel like, oh, we need to think it out. And see, Mercury is... is the ruler of Gemini, you know, Gemini rules, um, or Mercury rules Gemini, I always get that mixed up, which one rules what, don't care, don't care at all, you know what I'm saying, Gemini, you know what I'm saying, your planet is Mercury, and that's in the opposite sign, which is Sagittarius, so by default, you should understand that Mercury don't really fuck with Sagittarius, so what can happen is we can start to overthink our experiences, or overthink before we experience something, and overthinking in all capacities ruins the experience, you know, and, and I'm not saying you shouldn't think about things before you do them, but here's the thing, when you overthink about an experience, you put a bunch of prejudgments on it, you limit it as far as all possibilities, now, Jupiter, when we talk about Jupiter, Sagittarius, that is like, 
supposed to be that God energy where it's all possibilities. You go out and experience and from that experience you take in and be like, oh, this is that's how you get a broad philosophical way of seeing the world by going and experiencing different shit, traveling either through the mind or through physically going to different places and being like, oh, these are different people, different ways of looking at the world and you compile them together and create your own spiritual system and develop wisdom wisdom can only be developed through experience you know what i'm saying now knowledge when we talk about learning this shit that's mercury so mercury right here it's like mercury wants to get all the facts before we jump and take the leap of faith but right now you got to kind of say fuck that shit you know especially with the new moon here it's like man fuck that shit Go out and use, because like the sun is 22 degrees, 18 degrees for Mercury, and 7 degrees for the moon as I'm speaking right now. So the moon moves the fastest, you know what I'm saying? The, tomorrow's going to be the, act, you know, on the, on uh, what? Let me see, what's today? The 14th is going to be the actual new moon, you know what I'm saying? But like that shit is going to start propelling you into this waxing period. And like I said, the waxing period is the plant seeds time. So go out and experience. Go stumble and fall, you know what I'm saying? And see... All this energy, we still got Chiron and Aries. Now, it's in retrograde right now, four degrees and shit like that. So, right now, it's like, I feel like that trine is going to be us seeing mistakes. We're going to be able to see mistakes. And I don't even think it's really a trine because, uh, like, degree-wise, but I, I like... To, like some, I, a lot of times I go off of energy because it's still in the same energy spectrum. It's still fire, and it can still kind of... You know what I'm saying? It might not be exactly aligned up but you know when i'm looking at it i'm like you know our chiron ruling our mistakes you know what i'm saying and then the sun mercury the moon and you know venus not there yet so we're not going to include venus but the way we seeing things how we thinking and how we feeling we could be looking at these you know the trine brings a gift so we have the gift to either be looking at our mistakes and seeing seeing them as they come seeing them ahead of time and seeing what we did in the past and because chiron is in retrograde so seeing what we did in the past as a mistake we're either bossing up and learning how to rise above that shit or we're letting that stagnate us and we're overthinking about it and so we subdue our actions and then now we're feeling all kinds of ways because when we're not doing what we're supposed to do a lot of times we can start to feel guilty and that guilt Guilt is like one of the most dangerous, I feel like, feelings in this world because the guilt energy puts you in a space where you literally locked in jail. It, it, guilt literally links you to jail. So, you know, and that can manifest. You you feel guilty about everything. Chances are you will manifest a situation where you in jail in some form or fashion. It may not be behind a prison cell, but you will find yourself in a space where you are locked away and you cannot get out. You cannot find the key because that guilt is that, that, that energy that will put your ass in jail. So, like, right now, don't be feeling too much guilt. You know what I'm saying? But the positive is it's actually trying in Mars right now. So your passions... We supposed to be in our bag right now. You know what I'm saying? And Mars is home. Mars been home for a while now. I feel like Mars is one of those saving graces because amidst all the bullshit, we had a clear idea. Or, you know, when Mars was in retrograde, we was developing. We was back at the drawing board. But since uh, Mars been direct, we've had a clear line of sight as far as our passions and what we actually are passionate about. And our passions can link us to our truth in some capacity. You know what I'm saying? And so... Along this journey, you know what I'm saying? And that's actually sextiling the North Node. So we can use our passions as a, a kind of a tag team to create opportunities to actually walk along this path. Like, that's why I said this time right now is so potent. It's so potent for not only self-mastery, self-realization, but also walking in that path that we know we're supposed to be walking in. You know what you're supposed to be doing already. You already know. You know what I'm saying? And then so... All of that energy, you know what I'm saying? And then so, the, but Mars has been squared up, you know what I'm saying? And like, this is another situation where it's like, it's not really on that same degree, you know what I'm saying? And it's moving into um, Aquarius right now. So, you know, you can say Mars is is is, is uh, squaring uh, Pluto. So a lot of our, our passions and motivations are being transformed right now, you know what I'm saying? We could say that. And, you know, slightly, if we were considering um just the energy of saturn and uh jupiter and things of that nature you know we've all been trying to learn how to make our passions work for us in some way you know what i'm saying and like as we move into capricorn it's going to be time for that but we have to go through sagittarius first we have to stumble and fall learn by experience so that when we do get to capricorn 
we can have a, a hefty amount of wisdom and knowledge to actually build on top of, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when we hit Capricorn season, it's going to be built about the builder time. It's going to be time to actually lay that foundation and start creating those steps. Because once we get to set, uh, Aquarius, I feel like shit going to go crazy. And I mean crazy because, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be the new year, you know what I'm saying, shit. And like, you know, or their new year and shit like that, you know what I'm saying. But we already know it's it, we, we winding down, but like it's going to be, it's going to be just a heavy load of energy. And we already been feeling heavy loads of energy, but we're going to have that square with Uranus. So it's going to be like us paying attention to change. Change has already been happening rapidly, but it's going to happen even faster now. And we're actually going to have to step up and start, you know, communicating, linking up with our soul group, participating within our communities so that we can actually create. Because I feel like if you're not being a strong individual now and developing your own individual powers, you won't have anything to contribute to the team when when it's time to link up. And if you don't have if you don't know yourself, so you're in the wrong team or you don't contribute to the team or you you can't find a team or soul group to actually link up with at this time and and like I, like you know there's a difference between the soul group linking up and you just linking up with random motherfuckers in your neighborhood because random motherfuckers in your neighborhood y'all not gonna resonate y'all not gonna be on the same page so when shit hit the fan y'all not gonna know the proper procedures to go through to get through tough shit see when you with your soul group y'all all have an understanding so when things get tough when when things outside is not looking right Y'all have enough energy to come together and harness power. You know what I'm saying? Because it's power in numbers. Teamwork make the dream work. But if you don't have a team to make the dream work, your dream just going to be you by yourself and shit like that. And dreaming by yourself can lead you to La La Land. And now you just by yourself assed out, lost that short. You know what I'm saying? But if you actually have enough people around you, you can have a whole ship. And so it doesn't matter if you get sidetracked. Whoever gets sidetracked, there's always going to be a group of people who to remind you, hey, hey, no, 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 you got it. This is your job. You remember? Remember we was doing this? Boom. We all good. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Checks and balances and stuff like that. And that can help. I mean, wonders happen. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Soul Group linking up in fucking uh, Houston right now for Sammy Sensation. Yo, shout out to Sammy. Happy flight day and all that shit, man. I love all y'all. And I love seeing shit like that because that's the shit we need. And I love seeing that at the early representations of us linking up and shit like that. That shit real. You know what I'm saying? And shout out, you know what I'm saying? We got something else planned. I think, you know, if, if you don't know, well, I'm, I'm going to keep that private because that, that, I, I don't want to put too much out um, just in case I'm not supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not my function. It's somebody else's. But, you know, uh, you know, I want to keep some things on the low. You know what I'm saying? Some things on the low. Um, but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, right now, you know, it, it, it's crucial for that. So, right now, it's like, it's like right now, just focus on learning by experience. Go out and figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So, stop trying to read the manual. There's no manual to life. And there's chances are that if you are watching this channel, the chances are there's no manual to your path. Uh, well, any in any capacity, there's no manual to your path. And I say that specifically because, you know, I feel like, you know, uh, most people want to just follow in the footsteps of somebody else. And so, the, yeah, you can find a manual for that, but it's never going to fulfill you. You know, if you're on this channel, you try, you you in your spiritual bag, you trying to you trying to be spiritually empowered. So you creating your path, you know what I'm saying? So there is no manual for that. And that's a, that, 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 that's a gift and a curse. The curse is like, oh man, I don't got no representations. I'm gonna feel nervous. I'm gonna feel naked sometimes. I'm gonna have to stumble and fall. But the positive is, bruh, you so, like, you get to define your path. You get to, I mean, I feel like that's one of the greatest opportunities to be alive. You get to define your story. You get to write your story. Stop letting other people write it for you and stop copying. Stop plagiarizing other people's story. Make your own shit and make that shit the livest shit you've ever, you've, that's ever been written. And even if nobody else reads it, fuck it. You lived it. You got to experience it. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? In and of itself. But, you know, you know, I, I know how I break down a strategy. I don't know how. I don't know if I actually hit all the points, but I mean, I think I did. I feel like, you know, I do it from a more intuitive space, but I do look at where the science is at and, you know, it is what it is and shit like that. So, you know, I think, uh, let me see how long this video is. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you know, 30 minutes and shit like that, you know, but yeah, you know, that that's, so that's, a, that's what I feel right now, right? So just kind of closing out and shit like that. 
um, just, just, I think I got my point across, you know, right now, don't let them stop you, you know what I'm saying, don't let them stop you, and them, when I'm saying them, I mean, motherfuckers in your life, I'm talking about yourself, you know what I'm saying, or your demons and things of that nature, because a lot of times, we be, um, we don't even know, it's like, a lot of times, we just be hearing voices and stuff like that, and those voices, we don't need to listen to every single thing, you know what I'm saying, your thoughts and shit like that, the shit that you catch in life, be careful, because that shit might not be you, you know what I'm saying, and so you got to define what it is you want to experience, and right now, it's the, it's, this, this is the sign of experience, baby, it's the sign, sign of experience, so you better go out and figure that shit out for yourself and shit, go see what's popping yourself, you know what I'm saying, don't just hear what's going on on the block, you know what I'm saying, Mercury, hearing niggas talking and being like, oh, okay, coming up with your own conclusions without actually going and experiencing it, no, go outside, be around people, see what's happening, you know, and when I say be around people, be careful, because right now, you know, everybody getting clapped, and the government not playing right now, you know what I'm saying, so you, you do want to be careful, because they doing all kinds of funky ass shit, you know what I'm saying, shit that's, that's just real, real trife, you know what I'm saying, real trifling, but, you know, for the most part, like right now, we, we you know, the, it is portal time, and portal in the sense of, you have the opportunity to jump into that timeline that you've been, that you've been trying to create for the longest time, you know what I'm saying, and right now, it's just, it's a lot of potent energy right now, and the truth of the matter is, you know, all this energy is going into a fixed sign, so with, with fixed energy, the longer you wait, the harder it's going to be to change things, so, and, and like, you know what I'm saying, so, like, keep that in mind, so right now, you might think, oh, it's so hard to get on the path that I've been trying to get on, or it's so hard to kind of get with the energies and believe in myself and do what I'm trying to do, but I'm like, no, the way the system is being morphed and changed, they're trying to lock shit down, they're trying to create order, creating order means locking shit down, they're trying to, and, and we're going into Aquarius, so right now, reality is going to be in a fixed state, now, it's still air, so there's, but the air is going to be, air is communication. And that goes back to what I was saying about communities. The only real power you're going to have is, it's, I don't wanna, it, it's, it's, it's kind of going to be linked to who you linked with. Your organization. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm not trying to take nobody power away because like, we all powerful as individuals. And Aquarius is all about the individual, but it's the individual contributing to the community though. And teamwork always makes the dream work. So you, you only, at, at the harder, the longer you wait to, to switch things up. Right now, switch up. Switch up. Get on that shit now. The time, there is no more time left. Like, this shit is over. Shit already been over. But, like, right now, it's like, look, a Sagittarius is giving you that last call to get on your spiritual shit. <laughs> get last call. <laughs> I'm saying, because... As we move forward, like, it's, it's just going to be harder and harder. And that's with everything in life. You know what I'm saying? You you got a career goal you're trying to reach. Or anything you're trying to do, the longer you wait and sit on it and, and pile on the thoughts and feelings, the heavier it's going to be. And the harder it's going to be to move with that shit without tipping it over or spilling it or crashing it. You know what I'm saying? So, I just love y'all, man. I want all of us to, to, to rise to the occasion because I know we can. You know, we all stars and shit like that. But you got to you gotta tap in. You know what I'm saying? You got to tap into that shit. It's all here. It's free energy. You know what I'm saying? We got we, we to gotta make the most out of what we handed. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, much love. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.